welcome back students today let's discuss klein's theorem so let's see the statement of the theorem the statement says every language defined by a regular expression is also defined by a finite automation so coming to the proof suppose l equal to l of r for a regular expression r we will consider one language l which is equal to l of r we show that l equals l of e for some this is l of e l equals l of e for some epsilon nfa with exactly one accepting state to no arcs into the initial state three no arcs out of the accepting state so coming to the proof the proof is by structural induction by the regular expression r so we are going to have a recursive definition for the regular expression uh, the proof will be having two parts one is the basis part next one is the induction part in the basis part we are going to prove three things so let's see what that is the basis consists of three parts this is a wherein we have the input epsilon then in diagram b the input is phi diagram c input would be a so we are considering three inputs one is epsilon that is on no input there is a transition so whenever there is a transition from the start state to the final state on there is a transition but there is no input so that is represented by epsilon look at this case this is the start state this is the final state this is a machine here there is no transition at all when there is no transition we represent that by phi and coming to the third case this is the start state and this is the final state there is a transition on input a so again we are considering three again i'm telling you we are considering three cases in the basis so in part a we see how to handle the expression epsilon the language of the automation is epsilon within braces that is a language since the only path from start state to the accepting state is represented by epsilon coming to part b it shows the construction for phi since there are no paths from the start state to the accepting state phi is the language of this automation coming to part c it gives the automation for the regular expression small a the language of this automation is consists of one string which is also labeled as l of a so coming to the induction part so in the induction part there are three cases okay so let us see the first case there are two regular expressions one is regular expression r the other one is regular expression s so we are going to perform the operation union if r and s are two regular expressions then the union would be shown as r plus s then how about the diagram transition diagram for that there is a common start state for the entire machine here there is a transition diagram for the machine r this is the start state of r and this is the final state of r and there is a uh, machine this is the machine for s the regular expression s this is the start state and this is the final state now from the common start state on epsilon input we either go to the start state of r or we go to the start state of s depending upon the regular expression selected so if we go to the start state of r we execute this regular expression r we go to the final state of r then on epsilon input we go to the common final state similarly 
from the common start state if the regular expression is yes. Then from the common start state we go to the start state of yes, we accept the regular expression yes, we go to the final state of yes, from this final state on epsilon we go to the common final state. So, the expression accepted would be R plus yes. The operation performed is union. The languages accepted would be L of R union L of S. So, this is the first case. Now, let us see the second case. The second case is concatenation. So, again we are considering two regular expressions R and S. The design would look like this. There is a regular expression R and the machine would be this. It has its own start state, it has its own final state. Similarly, there is a machine for S. So, this is the start state, this is the final state and this is the machine for S. And whenever we have to perform concatenation, it is R dot S. So, we are going to accept the regular expression R followed by the regular expression for S. So, the start state of R is the start state of the whole machine and the final state of S is the final state of the whole machine. To start with, we accept, we start with the common start state, we accept the regular uh, expression R, we go to the final state of R, from the final state of R on epsilon transition, we go to the start state of yes. Then we accept the regular expression yes. We go to the final state of yes, which is the common final state of the entire machine. So, the regular expression accepted is R dot S. The corresponding language is L of R dot L of S. So, come to the third case. So, the expression is R star. So, the operation would be closure. So, we will have the common start state. Here, there are two parts. So, R star is executed in two separate ways. R star means on no input also from start state you can go to the final state. Case 1, from start state on accepting no input from the common start state on accepting no input. So, it is epsilon. You will directly go to the final state. No matter what R is, you are going from the start state to the final state. Next case, what you will do? You will go from the start state to the start state of R. Then you will process the regular expression R. You will process the regular expression R. The language would be L of R. So, on epsilon, you will come back, you might process the regular expression R again. So, the language would be L of R, L of R. The expression would be R dot R. So, the language would be L of R dot L of R. Similarly, you will come back on epsilon and you might process R again or you might read R again. The language would be L of R dot L of R dot L of R and so on. So, repeatedly you might execute this R any number of times. So, once you are done from the final state of R on epsilon you go to the common final state. So, the expression accepted would be R star, the corresponding language would be L of R star. If you have an expression R, R and parenthesized R would be equivalent. Same way, if you have the language L of R, L of R 
and L of R R, these would be equivalent. Whatever language this L of R is accepting, the same language L of parenthesized R also would accept. So, that is the last case. The expression is parenthesized R for some smaller expression R. The automation of for R also serves as the automation for parenthesized R since the parentheses do not change the language defined by the expression. So, the constructed automata satisfy the three conditions given in the inductive hypothesis one accepting state with no arcs into the initial state or out of the accepting state. So, this is the proof for Klein's theorem. Thank you.